Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, dear Skra. How's it going? It's your boy, one and only, the most favorite Battlestead Games content creator. Nikita is proud to have me as a part of the Tarkov community 030 Eroctic. And today, I'm gonna show you how hitboxes are broken in the escape from Tarkov when you're using different FOEs and ratios. And with this example, you can see the difference in the hitbox in between 16-9 ratio 75 FOE and 5-4 ratio 50 FOE. This is the in-depth guide. We're gonna go through everything so you have a clear understanding how to place ratios and FOEs correctly in the Escape from Tarkov. So, let's begin. Dear citizens of Skra Army, I have a really important announcement to make. We have added Triple XL and Quadruple XL short first wave t-shirts on Eroctic.com, but that is not it. There is a Black Friday sale that is happening at this very moment for the short first wave sleeves and it is gonna last until end of the month or until the supplies in the Skra headquarters become depleted. Thank you for your attention, dear Skra. Quiet, Billy! No, you cannot get first wave. Get the get him out of here! So when you go in the settings options, under the game, you can change the FOE in between 50 and 75. And when you go under the graphics, I do not know why, but there is a thing in the Tarkov that there is a 1080p with default 16 times 9, but then you can change the aspect ratio in whatever the hell you want, which means that despite the fact that 1920 times 1080 should be 16 times 9 ratio, you can change it to be 5-4. And in the past couple of days, I was testing out different things with the different aspect ratios and the different FOEs. So what I have done is I went inside of a factory and I took a screenshot of exact same angle with the 50, 65, 75 FOE and with all different ratios just to see the difference in between all of them. You can clearly see that the difference in between all of them is completely different and the boxes in the middle are different sizes which means the hitbox is much much bigger in the middle and also there is a big difference in between how much you can see horizontally and of course vertically as you can see here you can see the sky on 75 foe with the same ratio you cannot see the sky anymore we're gonna go step by step but first i want to show you the differences of the middle part so as you can see i highlighted all of the crates in the middle with the red so it is much much easier for us to understand what the hell is happening. I took everything away and I made a spreadsheet that looks like this. These are all of the crates in the middle with the different FOEs and the different ratio. And with this example right here, you can clearly see that hitbox while using 50 FOE 5-4 ratio is way bigger than when you're using standard 69-75 FOE. And this right here is that difference. 5-4 ratio with the 50 FOE is winning with at least 70% bigger hitbox. But the downside of using 5-4 with the 50 FOE is of course how much you can see around you. So that is the next thing that I've tested out. I was using exactly the same screenshots that I was using for the boxes in the middle, but this time I measured how much you can see horizontally. There is no point of measuring verticality because as you can see the FOE affects how much you can see vertically. With every single test it is exactly the same. With the 50 FOE you can barely see the sky bridge, with the 60 FOE you can start seeing the sky bridge and with the 75 FOE you can see almost the whole sky bridge and you can see the sky. So there was no point for me to measure how much you can see vertically. And the way how I measured it is I pinpoint the middle of the screen. The white represents up to the tank. The red one represents the tank, how much you can see the tank. And the green one represents how much you can see after the tank. And now if you look the difference in between 5, 4, 50, you can see like barely, <laughs> barely tank. It is stretching out way too much of a middle 
while 6975 FO we can see twice as much, literally. And to showcase this a little bit differently, I stretched 5450 FOE over the 6975 FOE, which means when you're using 5450 FOE, you can see you can see this much, you know? It is exactly the same. This is that thingy that is stretched out. With the 6975 FOE, you can see way much more screen than with the 54 with the 50 FOE. It is not that I only measured the middle of the screen, I also measured with this blue container right here. So it is pretty much exactly the same, but white is up to this point, red one is the rest of a blue container, and the green one is after the green container. And it looks like this. And the next thing that I went to measure is how big of a difference is in between the middle of the screen with the different aspect ratios in the different FOEs. But as you can see, the middle part of this screen is gonna be way too pixelated. So I went back in the factory and I took screenshots again, but with a bigger box. And this right here is the box that I went to measure. It is exactly the same positioning like a previous screenshots, but this time I highlighted all of them and I placed FOE and the ratio in the middle of the crate with the different colors of course so we can see the difference in the hitboxes and when we strip all of this apart we ended up with this right here from the previous example and this right here is just proving the point is that different FOEs are shrinking down the verticality of the screen and then different ratios are stretching the horizontal part of the hitboxes and what this right here means is pretty much this orange box right here is 5.4, blue one is 4.3, yellow one is 16.10, purple one is 5.3, and red one is 16.9. This is the difference in between 50 FOE 5.4 and 16.975 FOE. And here on top, of course, you can see which one is the best one, which one is gonna zoom middle of the screen the most. And if you pay closer attention, you can see that first two are stretching the horizontal part much, much more than the rest three. In the other words, 5.4 and 4.3 are way more superior than 16.10, 5.3 and 16.9 when we are talking about stretching the screen. But there is a catch. We still do not know if the recoil pattern is gonna change when we are using different FOEs and different aspect ratios. So I went in the Tarkov and I tested out the spread of the shotgun buckshots and the recoil while not controlling the AKM while shooting for one second. And as you can see, the recoil is randomized, but there is no difference in the recoil, no matter what ratio you're using, no matter what FOE you're using. And also in this example right here, this is the difference in between AK close and the difference in between AK far. The recoil pattern is exactly the same, which means that you cannot affect the weapon recoil at all. It has its own thing, but you can affect the size of the hitboxes that you see because Whatever you see and whatever you send to the server, the server is gonna confirm that. But there is one more thing. Actually, there is 75 more things, but <laughs> one more thing about this topic is that even if you're playing with a 16.9 while playing with a 65 FOE, the hitbox is gonna be bigger vertically. And this right here is the difference. Even if you're gonna use 16.9 FOE, the hitbox with the 65 FOE is gonna be much, much bigger. And vertically, and horizontally. And when you take in comparison in between 65 and 75 FOE on 69, you can see 
that you're compensating how much you can see around you with how big of a hitbox you want to have in the middle of your screen. This right here is the comparison in between the hitbox in the middle and how much you can see. You're pretty much compensating the amount of the view with how big the hitbox you want to make in the middle of your screen. But there is a problem. I went out and tested out this theory in the practice. I've climbed on top of the rock in the woods and I was aiming down the side with Pi 4 50 FOE and 16.9 75 FOE and I noticed that this theory does not work how I was expecting. If you highlight Struman, you can see that Struman is much, much thicker, but the height did not change that much. This right here is the cropped version of 5.3 50 FOE and 16.9 75 FOE. As you can see, the scope is stretching horizontally, but we did not gain any kind of a vertical stretch like we should, because like we said, FOE is stretching the verticality. Although that is not the point with the Struman. So I went on the reserve and I made another testing. I was using again the same aspect ratios like before, 5.3, 50 and 16.9. 50. And as you can see from this example, again, we did gain on the horizontal stretch, but we did not gain anything from the vertical stretch, which means that scopes are affected with the horizontal stretch, but they are not affected with the vertical stretch. I went one step further. I tested out with the PK06. As you can see, the difference in between the hitboxes, in between the size of the enemy is quite drastical right here. I barely measured the pixels right here, but this is the same angle, the same distance, like this scope right here. And as you can see, we are now gaining and on verticality and on horizontality. Same here with the raw iron sights. As you can see, the hitbox of the target is dramatically bigger when you're using sights or the iron sight. The target was so small that I had to go test it out again and we went to test out iron sights and sights in the shoreline against this beautiful scab. It took me hours and hours to take eight same screenshots where the scab is in exactly the same position. But anyways, when we highlight our target, you can see that end vertical and horizontal stretch works on the iron sights and sights. When you take 69.75 while ADS and you place it over 5.450 ADS, you can see that the difference in the hitbox goes up drastically and in verticality and in horizontality. And now if you ask me which aspect ratio and which FOE is the best, there is no correct answer. It all depends what do you want and it depends on your play style and the weapon of choice and also sight or scope of choice. And with that said, I'm gonna give you the pointers that I will prefer to use when I'm gonna play Tarkov in the future after this testing. For my default AK with the sight usage, I will pick 16 times 10 with the 65 FOE. And this is how much of a hitbox size I'm gonna gain. I will lose this much of a sight, but I kinda don't care. This is huge difference in the hitbox size while not sacrificing way too much. And if I decide to snipe really far away with the exact same AK and with the exact same sights, I will change FOE mid raid and the hitbox is gonna skyrocket drastically. So this is with the hot swapping in the middle of the raid. I'm basically gaining exactly the same amount of the size while playing. I'm gonna give you the example. This right here is when I'm gonna play normally. And if I really wanna snipe somebody really far away, I'm gonna swap the FOV like this, and that is gonna be pretty much it. The thing is that I used to swap my FOV mid raids, mid fights, even before this testing, but I had no clue how aspect ratio is powerful. So yeah, just swapping in between uh, is not that big of a deal, trust me. Tarkov is a slow game and you're gonna have no problems with swapping that on fly, but, but yeah, I feel completely confident with 16.10-65 FOE. I see enough, it is not that big of a deal. It is not stretching way too much, but it is still stretching it enough to have the advantage over other opponents. 
And before we wrap this video up, I just want to remind you we are running Black Friday sale on short first wave sleeves. I hope that you guys learned something new from this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Eroctic out.